Pink Floyd, I wish you were here with just the uh, one finger. I had a request from uh, Roland, who was uh, a serving um, vet, um, who unfortunately lost a leg and some uh, fingers uh, while serving. So we thank you for your service. Um, he did ask for any songs um, that we could do with one finger. I did refer him to a few online, but I just thought, I wish you were here, um, can be done with one finger. So I thought it might be a little bit more interesting as well. But anyway, let's just jump straight into that tutorial. Okay, we'll start off with the intro. So it'll sound like this, the first part. Okay, so what's happening there? We're hitting the low G open. Second fret on the low G. But when we hit it, we're gonna slide it to the fourth fret. Okay, so keeping the pressure on the string when we hit that second fret and taking it up to the fourth fret. And that'll be followed by an open D, open middle string. And then we just finish it off with a half E minor. So we've got our finger on the second fret middle string and then playing that high G open. Okay, and then also what I'm doing is just touching that low G with, with my finger, just to mute it. You can get away with just avoiding the string altogether, but just in case I hit it. So. so when you play the E minor, you're really just playing these two strings, okay? Your middle string and the high G. One more time. And then the second part goes, second fret, middle string open. Fourth fret on the low G. So second open, middle string, fourth fret, low G, open G chord. And then we repeat the first part. Second part. First part. Okay, so that's similar to the second part. So this is second open, fourth fret. Go to the A chord barred on the second fret. Okay. First part. Back to that part again. And then we finish it with. Okay, so it was just um, hitting the second fret, fret on that low G, sliding to the fourth, and then coming back to the second as well. slide to the fourth and slide back or we can just slide to the fourth and hit that second fret on that low G again followed by an open G chord and then you can go into uh, the verse and I'll show you that now too okay the verse only has four chords um, we've got a C on the fifth fret a D on the seventh fret an A on the second fret Changed around, so we go to D on the seventh, fifth fret for the C, second fret, open G, play it through again,
pretty much the whole song. Um, you can do a one finger solo. It'll sound like this. So we go something like. Um, to do a separate tutorial on that um, so if there's enough comments uh, put down there I'll take the time out and do that as well anyway that'll get you through like I said majority of the songs so hopefully you got something out of this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up to let me know if you're digging the channel don't forget to subscribe and until I see you again be good and hooroo